I'm Cynthia James, and this network is about changing lives one woman at a time. Hello and welcome to Women Awakening. I am your host, Cynthia James, and I, I get the honor of introducing you to incredible women that inspire me. They're change makers. They're heart centric. They're open. They're truth tellers. They are people that have said, I am going to go for my dreams. And so I get to introduce them to you so that you understand that they're just examples. And so I want to introduce you to someone that has inspired me, and I'll tell you a little bit about how I met her, but her name is Misty Tripoli. In addition to being the creator of the Groove Method, Body Groove, and founder of the World Groove Movement, she's also a self-titled truth warrior. She's best known for her ability to enlighten others with her keep it real, tell it like it is, no holes barred approaches to life, and of course, her powerful gift of getting people to dance their hearts out and reclaim their authenticity through movement and self-reflection. Misty has been a movement and dance addict <laughs> her whole life. In the early 2000s, at the top of her game, right, she's under contract with Nike uh, as a global elite athlete, director of a top health club in Los Angeles or California, and in demand working with companies like Reebok, Skechers, Yoga Works, and Equinox. But here's the deal. She was also severely bulimic, overworked, exhausted, and then she cracked, right? Everything came crumbling down and she woke up to something extremely powerful and liberating called the Groove Truths. From here, she launched the company, the World Groove Movement and her at-home program, uh, Body Groove. If you see behind me, there's a screen. Uh, I do her uh, dance grooves uh, all the time. So Misty, thank you so much for being here. I'm so grateful. Cynthia, thank you so much for having me. It's so good to see you again. <laughs> you too. So everybody, um, we were at a TLC meeting and Misty took all of us, some of us who were fabulous dancers and some of us who weren't, and she moved us into our hearts and into our bodies in extraordinary ways. So I, I just want to talk about, so the grooving came from your own revelations and mixed with, with movement? Is that how it, it feels to you? Yeah, it was, well, basically it came as a, a, a inspirational download, but it came in a moment when I was transitioning in my life and having, and actually a massive awakening that happened to me in one day, in one moment, just like, it's almost like the illusion fell in a day. And um, I remember I couldn't even leave my house for two weeks because I didn't know how to communicate anymore. I was just like, I realized everything I, I knew I'd I just believed everything I'd been taught and never questioned anything. And like you said in my bio, I was bulimic. I was throwing up three, four times a day until I would vomit blood. I was working 70 hours a week. I was $75,000 in debt. I was just like, I was, I was, I was crashing. And in one day, it was the most fascinating thing. It was like, I saw that I had been lied to since I was born and that I wasn't born to hate myself. And you know, why am I struggling? I wasn't born to suffer and to struggle like this and what's going on. And so I just started to ask myself really deep questions. And my own therapy for myself was I've always danced, but I never gave myself permission to dance for myself. I was always doing choreography or creating routines for other people. And it was just work. And it, this voice inside of me just was talking to me and said, you just dance, dance, and so I would go into a studio, I'd put music on and I would just, instead of trying to come up with a move or create something, I just allowed my body to move how it wanted to the music. And in these moments of connecting and aligning myself with, with my creativity and my, my authenticity and my consciousness, I would receive these massive downloads. And the Groove Method was one of these downloads. It happened in a moment. I saw the vision of me teaching it all around the world. I saw millions of people doing it. And I just was like, oh my God, it was so overwhelming. I didn't know what to do with it. But the, the thing that came to me was the method. And it's those five groove truths that you talked about at the beginning that came to me as clear as day. And it was like, okay, now I can live these principles. I, under, I don't just understand them and they're just not a good thought anymore. I actually understand what it means to, to live these principles. And they're the foundation of the actual method. So if you'd like for me to share those with you. Oh, you know, I do. <laughs> I do. Because I believe okay. movement is medicine. 
I absolutely believe that it, it opens all our channels to receive. So of course you receive the download by opening your brain. Okay. So tell me the five groove truths. Yeah. Five groove truths. And for anyone out there that is struggling with like body image or any type of eating disorder, just a little side note is that within two weeks of just allowing myself to dance my way creatively and authentic and fully expressing myself with no holds barred, bulimia just left me. It disappeared. It literally like all of a sudden I woke up and I was like, I can't remember the last time I threw up. So it was this interesting thing. So anyone out there that movement and dance and, and connecting to your own authenticity and uniqueness and creativity is, a, is like you said, medicine and um, can heal you in ways you never thought. So these five group truths that came to me, the first one was, is that no one actually cares what I look like. And that was a huge, huge awakening because I was living in LA and, you know, I was in the, the scene and, you know, it was all about being beautiful and thin and perfect and it was never good enough. And I never like, and so that's why I hated myself. I was always trying to change myself. And then I woke up to this reality that was like, when I looked around, I was like, oh God, no one's looking. Why am I giving so much power to people that I don't do, I don't even care about their opinion. Why do I even like, I just woke up all these, like, I just woke up to that in the moment. And I realized I'm never gonna, I don't give a shit what people think. I'm gonna do whatever I want. I don't care what anyone thinks about it because they don't really care. They're too bothered with their own lives. So that gave me permission. That's the first truth. And this regards to movement is very important because what I call fear restricted movement holds people back from truly expressing themselves because they're afraid to look stupid. They're afraid of getting it wrong. And that's why dance, some people are afraid of it because they don't think they're good at it. And I believe everybody's good at it when you do it your way, right? When you just yeah, let it be. be. Yeah, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but no. when you look at your videos and you see the people in the videos, all different types, all different colors, male, female, and everybody moving their way. Absolutely. And that's critical for me. And every size and shape and, and everything, because it, because again, it's like I got into the reality and it's not a groove truth, but something I, I preach is that, you know, health is not a shape or a size, you know, it's not. And so you see that in my videos, people of all shapes and sizes and abilities being able to move together and be successful. And so the second group truth was that I am unique and you are unique and I should absolutely look and be different. Like I shouldn't try to dance like someone else. I shouldn't try to be like someone else or dress like someone else or look. I'm me. I just, the, when, and this ties into the third group truth is that when you do something your own authentic way, it is the right way. It is the correct form that there is no right or wrong way to dance. There's only your way to dance. And these truths were so loud. I knew that if I could give people permission through these truths, they'd understand it because people are smart. If you use your brain, you get the truth and you can apply the truth to your movement. And now the fourth truth was nobody can do it for you. Nobody, nobody can dance for you. No one can save you. No one can become conscious for you. No one can be healthy for you. No one can be happy for you. And I realized that in my own life that that's why it was so powerful for me when it came, because I realized I'd been waiting for something to save me. I was waiting for the man to come and, you know, love me the way I dreamt of being loved instead of learning how to love myself first. And all of these things just became really loud, but in movement, it was the same. No one's going to dance for you. No one's going to express themselves for you. No one's going to have fun in your meat suit for you. You know, they're just not going to do it. That's your job. And then the last truth is that all those four things are just really good ideas until you practice, that you really don't know anything until you put it into practice. And so the dance floor, the groove dance floor and groove experience is your opportunity to put these simple truths instantaneously, very quickly into practice and prove to yourself and flex that muscle of, of your own authenticity and your own, you know, uniqueness and, and, and it's powerfully simple. It's so stupidly simple, but you see, cause you've done it before. It's no complicated choreography. There's, it's just simple moves that give you the ability to do it your own way and to really tune into your own body and your own personal way of moving. Absolutely. And, you know, I was telling Misty before we started that, you know, um, I turn on the videos, I get up from my desk between clients and I groove, I, I just move my body. And, and I, I want to say, I love these five truths that, you know, that no one cares about how you look, that you're unique, that, you know, you, you can do it in whatever you, way you do, it's the right way. And that um, nobody can do it for you. But the practice part is enormous. So I as you started to build your business, you know, you get this download and, and I, and this is really important because there's people who are listening that 
want to build their businesses. They have a dream. They have a desire, you know. Um, but did you know how to start a business or did? <laughs> Honey, I was $75,000 in debt working 70 hours a week. Like I, I was, I was on the rat race. I was just trying to keep up and pay the bills. And I had no idea how to run an, a business. I just knew how to man. I knew how to manage people in a company and create programs and choreograph and be creative but running a business. No. And that was one of the things. And I know a lot of people have this is that vision I had was so huge when I saw this method and what I was supposed to give the world and what my Dharma was and what my path was supposed to be. Because I, I don't, I don't ask God for things I command. And my commanding is you built me to dance. This is what I have to do. I don't want to do anything else. So you better freaking show me exactly what that looks like and make it so freaking obvious that there's no doubt in my mind that this is exactly what I'm supposed to do. That's how I talk to God. I love God, that, but that's how I command because I need clarity. I need direction. I need, I don't need just like, Oh, is that it? Oh, is that no. And so when this happened, it became so clear. And I remember the moment the vision came, I said, Oh, really? I'm just one person. How's this possible? I see millions of people in my mind doing this. And the voice inside of me said, trust trust, just have faith and it will take care of you the rest of your life. And I just knew it. And I just followed it. And it's been fascinating from that moment. Like I quit my job. I didn't know what I was going to do. I claimed bankruptcy. And within two weeks, that's when Nike found me and Nike found me and was like, we want to sign you into a contract. Cause I was like, I, I was about to get kicked out of my apartment. I didn't know what I was going to do. And it was just the Nike thing opened the doors. They put me on stages all around the world. And I was able to build my audience and my demographic and get my, 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 um, my mailing list going. And then those people that I was in first touch with, they all asked if they could be trained and how to teach it. And so then my teacher training program started and it just started to evolve. And now I've got a team of master trainers. I've got 10 master trainers. The groove is in 49 countries. I have teachers teaching it in 49 different countries now. And, and, and it just, honestly, it's not me. I just knew that I was the center point of attraction that I knew if I just stayed in that high vibration and, and having faith in this beautiful gift that I've been given, I attracted all of these amazing people. And I just, I remember one thing, and I love this because it's part of what I learned at TLC too, is just becoming that vibration, becoming that part. And I would just say to myself every day, it feels so good to be surrounded by people that want to help me and support me and help me make this happen. And so that's, it just blew up from there. Well, I love that. And, and okay. You call it command. I call it claim it. You know, it's yeah. really like, it's like, I need this now and you, and it's got to be tangible. Show me how to do it. And so I love that you did that. And I love that you listened to that inner voice because that, that is something that people question, you know, their minds get in there. And so they're intuitive knowing they don't listen. So I want to ask you, so, um, so you, you travel all around the world and, and you, you live in another country right now, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, moved to Mexico 12 years ago. Yeah. And, and okay. Why did you, why did you pick Mexico and how does it feed your soul? Oh, that's a great question because I love it here. Um, what well, was um, fascinating because I'd been traveling the world for about 10 years and um, well, no, about five years at that time and just by myself. And I'd been to so many places. I'd circled the globe five times and I decided to start doing retreats because my participants were asking for gatherings. And so I started to go, oh, I want to do one in Tulum, Mexico. Let me go check that out. And so the year before that, I had met someone in Mexico dancing. I was dancing on the beach and they saw me and were attracted to me. And we started talking and we fell in love and he's from Mexico. So, um, and he's a diver and we came here to look for retreat centers. And the moment I came to this spot, something shifted inside of me. And it was the, it was a moment of a belongingness that I'd never felt in my whole life. And I was like, oh my God, I, my soul belongs here. Like I cry every time I get on a plane to leave. Like it is my home. I literally, it was crazy. The first time I came here, I never left. I came and I just was like, this is where I belong. And I basically, the only time I left was I went home for two weeks to get rid of everything I owned to come back. And that's all it took. It took me two weeks. I literally just called my friends and my family. I said, come take everything. I don't want anything. I don't want to own anything. Get rid of all of it. And so I got rid of everything down to two suitcases and never looked back. And it was the best, one of the best decisions of my life. I love that. 
Well, and, and, and that leads me to, I love that you danced on the beach and, and your beloved dropped in, but I want to, <laughs> I want to talk to you about, you know, how do you manage being a successful, a highly successful woman and have relationship and not lose yourself? That's, that's, that's such a great question. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, this is what happened to me. Part of my story is that person that I moved here with, like, you know, love of my life. And I was just like, um, but I was traveling all of the time. I was almost never home. And so that it drew us apart. And I couldn't manage both at the same time. It didn't work. It just, it didn't. I'd be gone for two months, home for a week, gone for three weeks, you know, and just, and he's like, I, I want my girlfriend here. I want you to be here. I need you here. And I understood that. And, but the problem is I couldn't, I was in the, the, the first parts of building my business, but I, I loved him so much that I lost myself. And the year after we broke up, I just, I was still in a funk and, and it was super hard. And then I, it dawned on me this, again, that voice that talks to me, that ah, it guides me in the right direction said, do not enter another relationship until you have learned to love yourself the way you loved him because I would do anything for him. I just wanted to take care of every day. What do you need to make you, what do you need to be happy today? And I would serve his needs and whatever he wanted. And I just forgot about myself. Even though I was working, I would try and satisfy that overseas. Like it just was crazy what I was trying to manage. And that moment was an aha. And I actually put a ring on my finger and I decided to marry myself and take vows for myself that I would care for myself till, and I was single for three years and dated myself and just had the time of my life learning to love myself and, you know, just, you know, put myself as the number one priority. And I, and I chose that again, I, like the next relationship, I will not lose that. I come first. I come first period above my business, above anything, my happiness, my, my peace of mind and heart and soul all come first before anything or anyone. Oh, okay. Okay. Ladies, I hope you, Play this part over and over again, because love yourself, honor yourself, respect yourself, marry yourself. Everything else comes from that. Yep. And then it's easy. Yes. Yes. And well, then it's and it's not like, oh, it's so easy, but things are so much more easy. Like things are so, like when you've managed yourself and you take care of yourself and you honor who you are and any woman out there. And this was the thing is because at the beginning, it was a very hard thing, even though I'd had all these awakenings and all this great business, I wasn't taking care of myself or honoring myself. And I realized I didn't know how to love myself. And that's a problem that many of us have. We don't know what that looks like. So what I started to do was just, what does it look like to be kind to myself? Because I actually know what it looks like to be nice to myself. If I'm saying nice words, if I'm, what would I do today? Like, what kind of foods would I eat if I was being kind to myself? What, what would, what activities would I do today if I was being kind? So I could start with kind, and then kindness built into love, because I started to prove to myself that I can be nice to myself and I respect myself, and then the love builds. So if you're one like me and just saying, "Oh, love yourself," that's so easy. No, it's not. You have to develop practices, and you have to flex that muscle of I matter, and I, you know how I feel and what I want in life matters. Yeah, it's so important. When I wrote I Choose Me, um, it, it was, I thought I was writing it for women, but I was really writing it for myself. It was like, do it for me and then, you know, others can get it. So um, yeah. um, before I ask you my final question, because um, I always ask the same final question, but I, I want you to tell people how to find you, how to become a groover, how to get your product, because you have all kinds of, of specials and stuff that come yeah. and on your on Instagram. So how can they find you? Well, yeah, all the social medias, you can either look for Misty Tripoli or you can look for Body Groove. Um, Body Groove is the at home product. That's where if you're interested, because especially with these times, it's strange, we can't really get together like we used to. So if you just want to dance, join me online. It's Body Groove on Demand. Um, you can find that on Facebook and YouTube and Instagram and all of that. Um, me personally is Misty Tripoli. And then the World Groove Movement is my team of facilitators and teachers all around the world. So if you're interested in learning how to teach it and share it and create classes in your community, that's the worldgroovemovement.com. Okay, everybody. I don't usually tell you to do things, but do this. <laughs> do it. <laughs> I, It'll make you feel so good. It will totally... 
you can be in a fuck in the pandemic. I would say, okay, it's time for groove. And I put on the music. So it, you will not regret it. So here's the last question I ask every guest. This show is called Women Awakening. What is the one thing you want women to know about the importance of their awakening? That it's a journey and sometimes it's very lonely, but you're not alone, if that makes sense. I found myself very lonely a lot because I, um, I, I couldn't relate to other people anymore because it was another dimension. It was another, it doesn't mean it bad or good or high or low. It was just, I realized I lost a lot of friends, but it, all of it positive because obviously they weren't the ones that should stay in my life, but that it's a journey. And sometimes you feel lonely, um, but you're really never alone. And when you can tune back into yourself, you can, you realize that you have everything that you need. Absolutely. Well, Misty Tripoli, I am so honored to know you. I'm so honored to be a part of your tribe and to witness the gift that you bring to the planet, um, birthed out of your own awakening. So thank you so much for being here. It is my pleasure. Thank you so much for having me, Cynthia. You are awesome. Thanks for your work. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank ladies. You. So we do these every week. You get to meet new women doing extraordinary things, you know, and, and what I want to say to you is subscribe, you know, we're, we're, we're on YouTube and Spotify and iTunes and uh, all over the place. You can always find us. And um, I want to remind you of something. I love that Misty said you're unique. In fact, you're an original imprint. There's no one like you anywhere. So there's no one that can do what you came here to do the way you came here to do it. You're a masterpiece in the making. So make the best of your life. Take those leaps. <laughs> Claim and demand from the universe to give you exactly what you deserve. I'm honored to be your host and I will see you next time. Many blessings. <laughs>